couple of years ago, I bought this leather camera strap from an Aussie brand called Lucky Camera Straps. And it was the first quality handmade item that I'd ever bought with my own money. And it's been on every single adventure that I've had since I bought it way back in 2018. He crossed the Thoronglar Pass with me in Nepal. I sat down with farmers and shared fresh coffee in Brazil. And it faced the hustle and bustle of the streets of Japan. And it's still in just as good condition as when I bought it all those years ago. This is what caused me to start looking at the things that I bought with a different view. Now, there's always been a part of me that's really admired people that are masters of their craft, whether that's musicians, tradesmen, craftsmen, you name it. To me, there's something so special about something that's been made by the hands of a human. The technology hasn't tainted it. It's imperfect in some ways, but human nonetheless. I think there's a certain magic that comes from being able to take one thing and then turn it into another thing with just your hands. So one day I was scrolling through YouTube and I stumbled across this channel called Little King Goods. It's a channel run by a guy called Ryan Savin and he creates the most beautiful leather products that I have ever seen in my life. Everything is meticulously handcrafted and he creates these beautiful videos. So after spiraling down the rabbit hole of leather crafting and watching almost every single one of Ryan's videos, I jumped in my car, drove to my local leather supplier, grabbed a couple of really basic tools and a bit of leather, and I downloaded one of the templates from his website and I created this. This was the first thing that I ever created out of leather. And I'm pretty proud of it actually. I was expecting to be horrible at it. I mean, I've never really been good at making things with my hands, so I expected leather crafting to be just another one of those things. But it turned out pretty good. And I really, really enjoyed the process of it. The feel of the leather, the smell, everything about it was just so enticing. Which leads me to now. It's winter here, and that means it's off season for me as a wedding photographer and filmmaker. And so I've had a bit of extra spare time and my desire for leather crafting has been rekindled. And I think I've decided to give it a real shot. One day I'd love to have a general store full of my own creations and maybe some creations for other people that want to come on the journey with me. So that's what this is. Uh, it's a video journal documenting the whole process from start to whatever the eventual finish is. At the moment, I don't really know what that looks like, but I know that I really enjoy this process and I want to get better at it. And so figured why not bring you guys along for the journey in case you're interested in this and maybe you can learn something through me and give leatherworking or crafting a shot yourself. I think for me, I'd love to put something into the hands of someone that brings as much joy as that leather camera strap did to me something that they're gonna eventually pass on to their kids one day or take on them on their adventures around the world. So come join the crew and let's see where this goes.